Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and in this video, we're going to look at converting from a 32-bit floating point number into decimal. Okay, so the steps of this conversion are essentially the reverse of what we did when we went from decimal to floating point. Uh, you're going to basically take this massive 32-bit uh, word of bits, and you're going to extract the fields. So the best way to do it is to start by extracting the mantissa bits, the 23 mantissa bits, and then reassembling the original mantissa uh, by adding back the implied one. Then extract the biased exponent and determine the decimal value of the original exponent. Then find out whether it's positive, the final number is positive or negative from the sign bit. And then you, you assemble the binary scientific notation from those fields that you extracted the information from. And once you have that, you can shift the radix point back to where it was originally at to form the fixed binary point number. And then once it's in that form, it's trivial just to convert it back to decimal. Okay, so let's do this example. So we have this big string of ones and zeros. It's 32 bits and somebody tells us that it's encoded in IEEE 754 floating point. And it's like, okay, well, that's that's great. Let's go ahead and figure out what this is in decimal. So what I'm going to first start with is I am going to reassemble the mantissa. <laughs> okay, so to find the mantissa, what you have to do is you basically got to count over to see which bits are, are the mantissa. So the first one is a sign bit, and then you have eight exponent bits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So your mantissa starts with these three zeros followed by a one. So the mantissa is actually zero, 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 and then it's one, zero, one, one, and then it's all zeros. Okay, and you don't need to actually write all 32 out because when it's when the trailing zeros go all the way to the end of the of the mantissa field, they don't impact the value. So what you're really looking at is this value right here is the significant digits within the mantissa. So then to get the final mantissa, all you do is you add in the implied one to that is to the left of the radix point. So your mantissa at this point that you care about is, are these bits right there. And that's all you do. You just recover it and you're ready to go. So the next step is going to be to determine the original exponent. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to extract the exponent bits from this field, and I just need to remember that the first bit's a sign, and then I have eight exponent bits. So I'm going to have one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero. So I got eight bits here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are my exponent bits, but remember that they're biased. Okay, so what I want to do is convert this to decimal. So if I convert that to decimal, I see that I've got, you know, basically you've got a weight associated with each position. So this is a weight of 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So you basically have 4 and 128. So this comes out to be 132 in decimal. But remember, that has a bias in it. So we added in 127 in order to shift the exponent up so that the exponent went from a only was a positive number from 0 to 255 or 1 to 254. But what we have to do is you simply subtract out the bias of the 32-bit floating point number, and you're left with the original exponent, which was 5. Okay. All right. So then third, the sign bit, which is the easy one, is it is one, and that means it is a negative number. Okay. So we have everything that we need in order to create the scientific notation of the binary number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mantissa and I'll move it down here. So I'm going to have one, zero, 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 one, zero, one, one. So that was this mantissa came down there. And then I'm going to say times two to the five, and this is in decimal. Remember, this is in binary, but that's in decimal. And then I'm going to put the sign on it. So the negative comes down there, and that's my number. At this point, let's go ahead and move this back into a fixed point binary number by shifting the radix point, the number of bits or the number of positions given in the exponent. So in this situation, we have five. So what we're going to do is go one, two, three, four, five and that's where the fixed point is and what we are left with is negative one zero 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 one zero 
and then the radix point, and then one, one, and that doesn't have the exponent in it because we took it out, and that is base two. Remember the negative, this isn't two's complement, it is just, it just tracks along with us. So now we're ready to go. The last step of this is to simply convert this into its decimal number. So when it's fixed point, I convert the, the whole number portion separate from the fractional part. So in this situation, you know, doing my weight application again, this has a position of, or this position has a weight of one, this is two, four, eight, 16, 32. And so I've got, I've got a weight of two and a weight of 32. So this is actually 34 decimal, bring that negative down. And then this right here has a weight of two to the negative one, two to the negative two. So this is a half and this is a fourth. So this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.25. So the answer then becomes, this is 0.75 in decimal. And that is our number. So that's our decimal number that we extracted from this 32-bit field. So let's go look and see if that is right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out to my ultimate solver here. Okay, so I'm going to go ultimate solver, ultimate solver, IEEE 754, and there's our ultimate solver. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the decimal number just the way that this solver works, and then I'll look at what code it gave me. So this is going to be negative 34.75, convert, and then it pumps out the 32-bit code, and let's see if that's what we started with. So 1, that's correct, then you have 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, one zero zero that's the exponent and then we had three zeros followed by one zero one one so we had three zeros one zero one one and then all the trailing zeros so we did it so this number in 32-bit floating point encoded with ieee 754 is equal to 34.75 in decimal but it's negative all right that is it you did it nice work and see ya